Welcome back to the channel, everyone. So I'm going to be doing a podcast-style update video. A lot happened over the weekend, and I figured this would be a cool way to do it. So let's see how it goes. Um, we have a couple categories to talk about, and uh, we're going to start with the BLE Shark Nano. BLE Shark confirmed they are no longer outsourcing manufacturing due to high external costs. Instead, they're planning their own operations, touring new warehouses, spaces, and hiring additional staff. This move could give them more control over quality and faster production turnaround. Kickstarter shipping timeline. Once the warehouse setup is complete, the team expects to finish their remaining Kickstarter units within one to two weeks. Their goal is to have all EU and international Kickstarter orders shipped by mid to late October. They emphasize working at full speed to avoid any further delays. Website pre-orders. After all Kickstarter backers receive their devices, website pre-orders will start shipping next. They're targeting late November 2025 for this batch, keeping the commitment to fulfill all backer rewards before moving into retail pre-orders. Boosted production capacity. Previously, Bailey Shark's small team could only produce around 200 units per week, balancing manufacturing with firmware and community support. With the new warehouse and the dedicated assembly team, Production will scale up to roughly 1,000 units per week, allowing smoother fulfillment for both Kickstarter and pre-orders going forward. All right, now for the closing statements. They thank the community for their patience and support, assuring that the wait is nearly over. They also invited us to join their Discord. I'm in the Discord currently, and they're very, very good at explaining things that are going on and answering questions in there. I highly recommend you guys check that out. I'm going to leave a link for this update as well as their Discord link in the description. All right, now let's talk about Zero Trace. They got some good news for us. Um, they have fully resumed worldwide shipping, including the U.S. and Puerto Rico. So people that don't know, previously everything was kind of at a halt. Um, there's a lot of uncertainty, and there's still uncertainty in the world with a lot of this stuff going on. But Zero Trace is back in action. I know that I received my BLE Lager recently. Um, I knew a lot of people had, were waiting for their stuff, and we weren't able to order that in the U.S., but they're currently okay. So just letting you guys know. I'll leave their link in the description if you want to go check out their stuff. As of right now, they are open. All right, so now we have the interrupt update that was just posted. It's posted an update in their Discord. I'm just going to summarize it for you real quick. Development is moving along pretty steadily, but they've hit a few small delays while finalizing their last hardware pieces and component choices. The team is working hard to make sure everything performs well and meets their quality standards. Hardware and RF design. They're refining the RF system right now. They've decided to go with multiple internal antennas instead of external ones. That should make the design cleaner and still cover a wide range of frequencies. The firmware will automatically switch between bands depending on what you select. IO and audio. They're adding IO expander to free up space on the main board. Audio is still being tested. It may cause short UI refresh delays when recording, but they're working on improvements. NFC and IR. The NFC currently is almost finished. Just waiting on final power system and antenna tuning. The IR system now uses a single high-powered emitter instead of two smaller ones. Firmware and UX. Firmware for the display and keyboard is in progress on their dev boards. They're testing everything in stages so each piece can be refined as they go. Enclosure and design. The enclosure is prototype ready and they're keeping screw mounts so people can still open the device for tinkering. There's also a dedicated soft power button now instead of a combo button. What's next? Next steps include finalizing the power schematics, tuning the antennas, and getting ready for FCC pre-compliance testing. They've also posted the latest enclosure STL files in their Discord, so go check those out. All right, and that's it for gadget updates for this podcast. Now, I'm a little disappointed that Interrupt yet again didn't show us actual pictures of this device yet, but it was nice getting a little bit better quality update this time around. And if you guys want to watch my interview that I had with the founder, that podcast has already been uploaded to my YouTube channel. Go ahead and check that out. Now for channel updates. Now, if you haven't already seen the Cyber Nightmares event, definitely go watch that live stream. We had so much fun and uh, we still have a CTF live right now. We already have a winner uh, that got it done first. But if you participate, you're able to get other prizes. We're going to be doing raffles at the end of the month. 
So definitely go check out that CTF, check out the Discord, and also go check out that event. We had a killer fun time. It was just so much fun. Also for me, I'm gonna be taking a couple weeks off from live streaming on YouTube. I'm gonna be still posting videos, but again, a little bit slower pace. Uh, I have a whole file dedicated to what's to come on my YouTube channel if you wanna go check that out as well in the ghost files that I released during the event. There's a little readme file with everything in there explaining what's going on with the channel and me slowing down content creation a little bit and uh, working on some other projects as well as gaming. So the next couple weeks I'm gonna be gaming on Twitch. I'm um, get, kind of getting back to my roots there a little bit uh, with the Battlefield 6 coming out, I'm really excited about. So these next two Fridays I have off from YouTube um, for live streams, but I'm definitely gonna be doing live streams every Friday on YouTube. So I know there's a lot of back and forth before with me, but I'm definitely doing it. It's just a fun thing that we can do. It's very relaxed. I'm, I kind of got it down pat now how we run it. And uh, yeah, it's just great. The live streams every Friday are great. So we're going to keep continuing to do that. And following those live streams on Friday, we'll be live on Twitch for an hour or two, just playing some games. So we'll have two live streams, one being YouTube and then the second one being Twitch later on in the night. Also, I got my BLE logger in the studio. Um, I just have to, a well, zero trace logger in the studio. Um, I have to tweak it a little bit. There's something wrong with uh, the SSID when it's like, when it broadcasts it, it keeps like kicking me off. So I'm working with the founder right now, seeing what happened, um, how to fix it. It's probably something on my end, but I haven't been able to finish that video yet, but I do have it. I've been uh, testing it out and trying to connect to it, but I've been having some issues with it, but we're working through that right now. So I'll let you guys know more about that when it gets finished. Still working on a YouTube short. It's going to be pretty intensive uh, this week as well. Um, the YouTube short has uh, Amazon purchase of a device. I'm trying to come up with good alternatives for cheap hacking gadgets that you can make yourself from Amazon. Because the way the world is right now, it's only getting worse. And I really believe it's going to get worse soon. I've already, see, I've already seen prices getting gouged on uh, Amazon because they know that everybody's hurting right now and it's tough to get stuff overseas so they can raise their prices because you have no choice. I've seen it happen. The device in the video, I bought it for $11 um, and now it's up to 20 on Amazon. So it's just, it's just crazy seeing how everything's jumping up. But trying to find alternatives for you guys and how to fight back in a way um, just so we can keep this community going. It's just we're taking a giant hit right now because it's tough getting devices because they're paying $70 for shipping and tariffs. It's just ridiculous. All right, that's going to wrap up this podcast. Let me know what you guys think about this. So I'm taking rolling updates, and I'm also adding actual gadget and real-world updates. I might throw in some cybersecurity things going on in the world as well in the future. So I'm trying to expand on rolling updates and as well as all these podcasts a little bit. Cause it's just easier to do this type of style video and uh, let me know what you guys think about it i just think it's a little bit easier throwing everything in one instead of doing many little tiny update videos i just feel like it's just pushing a lot of videos out that's unnecessary i can get it all done in one form uh, let me know what you think i just think it's a little bit more convenient for you guys doing everything in one chunk so thank you guys for watching and listening to this podcast I hope you guys have a great day and do me a favor and remember safety is an illusion